Drew Hornbeim has been with the Occupy Tech Ops Group since the early days of the occupation. We spoke with him looking back over the past year and ahead to S17. I'm Drew Hornbeim and I've been working with um, the Occupy Tech Ops Group. Uh, right now I'm mainly focusing on uh, doing, helping with internal communications and getting all of our uh, planning up on uh, our website for the 17th, which is s17nyc.org, uh, and uh, yeah, generally just doing tech stuff for people. Is, is, a, is, a, is a group of technologists with, uh, and, and we're a very solutions-oriented group. Uh, you know, my, my feeling is that appealing to power, um, trying to, you know, voting for one of the two candidates for president, uh, trying to get our House or our Senate to enact uh, real legislation that w would actually affect change, the change that you know, Obama promised in 2008, uh, is not, is not going to work. And that we need to uh, own the, the means of production, which is a very, uh, I think, socialist, Marxist kind of idea. But, that can that is that is, but that idea is actually taking place and has been taking place over the past twenty years, in on the internet in the technology world, and it centers around um, the principle of flow technology, and flow stands for free, libre, open, meaning that um, the technology and a lot of technology that you use and everyone who, anyone who's on the internet interacts with flow technology on a daily basis and what flow what what free libre open means is that it is a tool that is free doesn't cost any money it's gratis it's libre as in freedom you can do whatever you want with this tool and it's open meaning that it can be it, anyone can look at the components that make it up can audit the source code can see What's what's going on? How the how the how the product works? What it does? Um, and with those principles uh, taken taken outside of the internet, we you know that's the the road to uh, to, to to solving the many problems that, that we face uh, today. And what what Tech, Tech Ops has been doing is over the past year we've been developing a package of of free libre open source technologies to help activists um, and really any, any orga or organizations that want to affect change. Uh, we've been developing the, the ideas and, and putting together the software that has been developed by people not involved in Occupy, people outside of Occupy um, who have been working tirelessly on these, these technologies. We've been every, every piece of information about anything, about a, a war fought 500 years ago, about uh, a celebrity, about a cartoon character. All the information now is on Wikipedia. It's the first place you go when you're trying to learn anything about anything. And that information is owned by all of us. Anyone can go in and, and, and add to the information um, library. So it, so, it isn't, so it isn't controlled by, by the wealthy and the, the, you know, the so-called uh, experts in, the, in, in ivory towers aren't handing down to us information. We are creating the information ourselves. One of the, the challenges that Tech Ops has been facing is how to organize ourselves and how to, how to sustain ourselves. And, and I think that Tech Ops will, will um, continue offering um, and developing services for activists, and we are going to be working with um, other existing organizations such as May First People Link, which provides um, hosting and web websites for for activists um, across the world. Uh, and and yeah, we're, we're I, I mean we're just going to continue what we've been doing um, already, which I, I think has been one of the more successful uh, groups to come out of Occupy. Thanks for watching. That's our show for today.
But don't wait till next week to get in touch. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you think of the show, what you'd like us to do different, and if you'd like to help out, we could use your help. So give us a ring, 646-580-8446, or send us an email at info at occupypublicaccesstv.com.